Good morning for the general collective message. First, I want to start with, before I go into the channel message, um, regarding a huge energy shift I felt this morning, um, probably right around, um, I think it was around 6 a.m., 7 a.m., but it was a very huge um, energy shift, and if you felt it as well, feel free to comment. The channel message of spirit wants you to know to be grounded, to uh, use one of the crystals that he's those rec being recommended is black obsidian. Not only does it, does it serve you as protection against dark entities, but it's very grounding and it provides a grounding cord to Mother Earth. And so also with this um, daily vibe message that we'll be getting into here in a minute, Spirit wants you to know that just by listening or watching this video, today you will be receiving the activation in your Earth Star Chakra, which is 18 centimeters below your feet. It's platinum in color. It grounds you to Mother Earth, as well as um, the activation of your base chakra, which is garnet in red, um, at the base of your tailbone. And so these two grounding chakras will be activated for you. Um, today, throughout this message, you will be receiving that along with, of course, the channel message in your reading. Also, uh, in addition to the Black Obsidian for grounding crystal, if you wear earth tones, perhaps the uh, for the earth star chakra being platinum in color, wear silver or platinum colored socks or shoes. You can wear a base color is garnet, and that would be a red, deep red. So even if it's whether it's your socks or your undergarment, any undergarment, I suppose, would help you to uh, be grounding. But um, even in earth tones, um, so brown pants, brown shoes, etc., um, will provide you some grounding energy. Um, Anything else? And know that yes, there is a huge energy shift in time. Is things are moving rapidly. Things are in the final countdown of these changes that are occurring. To continue to release and surrender to spirit, any negativity, toxicity, cut the cords even to the toxic energies around you before we go into 2020. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're going to get into the reading for your energies. Everything, of course, is shuffled. Trying to minimize the sound of the shuffling for people, divine feminine energies, and divine masculine figures. Okay, divine feminine. We are diving deep into your emotions still as a shark uh, delves into the truth of the matter, so dives into the truth of your emotions as well. Divine feminine and masculine is beautiful. <laughs> For some reason, uh, you do dive delve into the uh, truth of the matter, diving deep into your emotions, and the words that came to my mind was take a bite out of crime, take uh, crimes against you, crimes against humanity, bringing tr truth to uh, regarding crimes against you, in other words, um, deceit that was placed against you, lies, um, that sort of crimes or energies that were aimed at you, um, you are bringing light and truth to that energy. It's a number 11 card, by the way. Seven card is the fairy godmother. How beautiful is that, the Roman feminine? And again, this is not for the genders. It's for your divine feminine energy. If you're more divine feminine than you are masculine, then that side would portray to you. And Spirit just wants me to remind you that we each embody the feminine and male, masculine, thank you, energies within each of us. So perhaps if you are very, uh, you could be female of gender, but have more masculine energy, then this side would be your energy. 
All right. The fairy godmother here with number seven card. All about seven is a very lucky number uh, for most. Balance, very balanced, but choosing of the balance, choosing that golden uh, prize, being that golden prize. Spirit saying with wisdom, you are very wise with the owl card here as well. There's a little uh, critter here. Listening to the inner healing, your inner child, listening to your intuition, and being one with your higher self. You are truly connecting now with your higher self, stepping into your power of high priestess and beyond. Understanding now that you have gifts that Spirit has given you and you are ready to present them to the world, present them in a healing way to help others um, nurture and heal all living creatures alike. Masculine energies, you have the crocodile number 10. The ending, I believe we had this the other day. It's a line and weight in some sense, a very silent uh, energy, but powerful. Uh, like a powerhouse, uh, listening, and your third eye is wide open, just watching. You're able to see the truth of the matter, but you're watching in the dark and in the light. Um, you're staying very calm and uh, not sedentary, but uh, just lying in wait. The energy of this card is waiting for someone to um, present something to present itself to you um, in whichever way this is, whether it's this work, love, etc but you're ready to take action you're just waiting for that prime time to move to make your move and for this is a number five card about the change the retriever here healed the retriever listening to his intuition his um, higher self as well knowing understanding um, his heart chakra is open and this is still holding on to that a uh, gift within him. Now, maybe holding back a little bit. I see this as um, holding back those gifts that you know are within you. You hear spiritual messages coming in. You hear your spirit guides, the signs and synchronicities around you. And perhaps you're holding back those gifts, not quite ready to take the same step forward as the Divine Feminine to present your gifts to the world to help others. But you know that it's there. Perhaps you're just waiting for that prime opportunity for you to realize that, yes, now I can move um, and move forward in this way. It's beautiful energy either way. True precise messages for, for the recent past for the general collective, please. Recent past. Take extra. The near future spirit, please. Near future. awakened nine of swords in the recent past awakened and not allowing those swords that normally would have kept them awake at night um, not allowing that anymore this card seems much brighter than in the past usually it uh, has more of a dark uh, nighttime look there's a beautiful owl here in the corner of this window that she seems to be listening to communicating with as a spirit guide perhaps um, Knowing that her spirit guides are all around her, there are messages and synchronicities all around her, that uh, she is trusting and allowing spirit to protect her from these swords that could look like they would normally keep her awake at night. 
And what is that regarding? It's regarding a communication that came in, perhaps regarding a flame connection, the divine counterpart connection. But the Ace of Wands, a new beginning in communication regarding this connection, a connection that was mirroring one another at one point. But for whatever reason, there was some devil energy in the past regarding the situation. And listening to the spirit guides around her, she pulled back her energy. Perhaps that was the communication. They both went their separate ways. They were mirroring. This is divine feminine pulling back her energy, setting her boundaries um, to protect herself. And that was regarding a knight of wands, a player energy, someone that was putting her in a third party situation, fourth party situation, um, but thought they could be in and out of her life with uh, limited communication, limited action. Maybe they were just taking their time, waiting for a certain moment to move uh, forward regarding the connection. However, in the present moment, Ace of Cups, new beginning um, from moon cycle to moon cycle. Again, I keep getting the energy recently with the things that are really uh, need to occur before the next full moon. I believe, again, that it's around January 10th. Nine of Cups celebration here in the present time. Nine of Cups is that near ending. The only cup left is to fulfill the cup for themselves. There's my uh, things. Well, he's also um, make aware that in this present situation that while they're celebrating, thinking they're ready to hold up that ninth, that ninth cup for celebration, they know now that they can fill their own cup and then offer that. Here is the tenth cup. So nine in the ace is the tenth cup. The Lord Spirit saying there are rats in the vicinity um, looking to take things from you. So be aware of that. Keep your eye open for things that might um, invade your space, invade your territory, take what, try to take what is rightfully yours because there are rats up here on this uh, image. Again, people, two hands down here are the two rats up there. He's counting his pentacles, thinks he's balancing things out, um, but people are reaching up, taking, trying to take what is something he worked for. And that could be also some of the devil energy that's directly above it. The Divine Feminine is Six of Swords moving forward to calm waters. Because of a path, because of a choice um, that needed to be made, the right choice. Uh, perhaps someone chose ill or wrongly in the previous. This is under the Knight of Wands. Perhaps the Knight of Wands didn't um, surrender to spirit the uh, toxic patterns that they were uh, holding on to, the devil energy they were holding on to, and the choice had to be made, and they chose, perhaps they chose ill or wrongly, but the Divine Feminine is moving forward to in the path in which is her sole purpose, her mission. Um, this is overall energy for down there. In the near future, we have Justice card here. Justice card here is balancing things out, making things just and right regarding a divine connection. Again, we underneath the celebration in the near future, we still have that celebration. So something uh, regarding that path that had to be um, taken um, and justice. Turn that off fast. Justice was in balancing things out regarding a divine connection. Um, again, this is regarding that Ace of Cups, the celebration regarding the celebration here in the present time as well. So it's still there. Someone, the rats around you don't get it because they cannot take, Spirit saying they cannot take what is rightfully yours in the sense of this divine connection. So it will be there in the future. Um, 
energy coming back around, coming back again. Perhaps this path went around and came back together again, is the image I'm getting, that while someone chose wrong, it is coming back around for that next decision, that choice that's got to be made, ridding themselves of toxicity. They need to follow their guidance, their spiritual guidance, their spirit guides as well. Regarding this communication, the Knight of Swords that is speaking truth, coming in with wisdom as well with that owl there. The Empress um, here in the near future, she's the all four queens in one. She's birthing a new beginning. The, um, very wise business opportunities. Abundance coming in your way. The Divine Feminines, whether she moves forward on her own in her spiritual path, her sole purpose, her mission. This is that the world card is here to end of an old cycle and the beginning of that new cycle. And then the new, thank you Spirit, the new full moon cycle. As we just had the new moon two weeks later is a full moon. So again, it should be right around January 10th. I should have looked to clarify but this is the beginning of the new cycle going into january and overall energy is the Hierophant, the high priestess energy um, whether they are solo or together they will move forward within their power Regarding the Nine of Swords, yes, um, another woman, a third party situation, yes, um, the Queen of Wands here, fiery, um, finding out about a situation so that the Divine Feminine Nine of Swords or someone put their boundaries up and move forward in the chariot solo following the Divine Guidance. Regarding the King of Swords with this Ace of Wands, this new beginning, the mirrored energy um, perhaps was a page of wands, immature in his messages, immature in the game they were playing. Um, or this King of Swords was being a like a page, acting like a page of swords, more immature, not acting like the king that he was regarding this connection. In the recent past with the devil energy, um, also the shadow energy, the sh things that were hidden, illuminated in the shadows during the past full moon perhaps. This was the recent past, but this connection is tied together, divinely guided, divinely protected. Regarding this knight of swords bringing communication, perhaps partial truth as this mask is not fully open, it's partially closed, therefore I'm getting the sense that only partial truths came forward regarding those double energies, and yet they still need to come in their full truth. Own, own it. Look at things from it. Be the king of coins. They are building their pentacles, working on a solid foundation. Their heart chakras are open. They also are seeing things now with a different perspective, a divine perspective that Spirit has shown them. Ace of Cups, the filling their own cup of love, nurturing themselves, moving forward in their new beginning. Temperance was here to balance things out so they could, um, because they were putting the work into a connection that wasn't balanced, Temperance balanced things out so that they each 
could go within, fill their own, be in union with their selves before they can move forward. Celebration is regarding the love two of cups, equal, balanced, give and take. They have both fulfilled their own cup. They are both in union with themselves now, ready to merge their cup together, perhaps. And this Knights of Pentacles wants to make a peace offering coming together so they can celebrate. So there is something to celebrate. Because in the past, they felt like they were between a hard place and a rock with their communication. It was limited by the other parties involved. It was keeping things in the shadows. The Ace of Wands is here with a communication regarding a new beginning, balanced beginning. And with truth, this Knight of Swords coming forward rapidly with intent, with um, purpose, and with truth. And the Six of Swords coming forward trying to catch her. You see here how he's, he knows she's moving away from him, that she's moving forward in her purpose, her mission, and he's going after her to convey his truth, his um, regarding the shadow energy. He's coming out of the shadows and willing to weather the storm together with her. And justice is here to ensure that that occurs. Regarding the Hierophant, and we have Hierophant here as well. And that was the uh, who's making the two, the in the past, uh, uh, the wrong choice was made with the two of wands, the past. It was regarding the lovers that was chosen wrongly, putting the uh, passion, killing the passion, drowning out the flames of passion in the divine connection, um, leaving it cold as stone, and happy to work to re-nurture that and spirits reigniting that passion regarding this hierophant that's coming forward with communication. <clears throat> Clarify the near present, please. Clarify the near present. Justice was here regarding the Two of Cups, that balanced love that, that's here as well, nurturing one another regarding that new beginning of Ace of Wands, that love, that passion. The celebration is here with the Sun card because he's finally realized he can walk away from toxicity, the devil energy, the things that taunted him and seduced him, keeping him from making the correct choice that uh, Spirit's saying now. He is out of the storm clouds and dancing or celebrating um, moving forward. Um, the Knight of, or, yeah, Knight of Swords, uh, the truth, uh, the truth with wisdom, uh, has grown and matured. They're no longer acting like a page of one spirit saying that he's taken a good look at himself in the mirror, realized he didn't see what he didn't like what he saw regarding that three party situation, the games he was playing. He has been clarified with wisdom because the justice card came in. He understands that he had was wearing many masks and acting with devil energy. Um, towards the uh, Empress. However, judgment came in and judged him, and he has had, fall, had to fall to rock bottom, I'm hearing, for him to realize what was before him um, so he could see it with another perspective, see that the guidance from spirit that was there for him. A Knight of Wands, well, 
sorry, not in mind. Page of Wands. Understanding with the ending of the cycle, it's an ending of the Page of Wands, the toxicity with the snake around his neck. An end, putting an end to, in this, as the cycle ends, sorry, they're closing the gap between the, the divide that was there. They want to bring that together and be in truth. Uh, the Hierophant, realizing his gifts from spirit, because spirit has sent him the messages or her, that regarding the gifts that they have to heal others, to help others, to be in mission, um, and to celebrate this new beginning, this new cycle. Advice from spirit. Um, with the Justice card, Harvest, number 10. It's an ending. It's time to plot those fields and plant new seeds to move forward in this connection with the nine of cups union be in union this is a time of celebration for union um, as this year winds down again about celebration it's, um, with this connection because they have seen the light as he's speaking the truth it is time to celebrate Peace like judgment has come in and um, regarding the devil energy and this communication he will be bringing will bring peace just as a peace pipe. Regarding the advice, you are a healer, uh, you're the shaman, invoke, uh, be the change that you want to see in the world around you. Illuminate the shadow sides of others, illuminate the shadows in yourselves, bring it to light, to heal, to release, move forward with victory and know that spirit is protecting you in this connection on this journey this divinely guided journey and again being the vessel is to move forward and it's all about forward movement trusting in spirit fly high above the clouds or high above the storm clouds Angel of Prayer, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. Goddess of Beauty, you are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix now. You have trans... You've gone through your transformation and your re soul rebirth. Both your feminine and your masculine energies have had their rebirth, and it is time to move forward with um, truth and love and light in your soul purpose and your mission to see from your third eye with clarity what your purpose is and move forward, take small baby steps towards that purpose. And with this uh, communication, this message today, know that you are grounded to Mother Earth with your Earth Star Chakras open and activated as well as your base chakras. And tomorrow's message will do the sacral and the solar plexus chakras. Namaste.